Good afternoon everyone. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, so please subscribe and click the notification button para maging updated po kayo sa aking uh, mga videos na ina-upload. No? For today's uh, video, I will be discussing construction materials and testing, introduction and orientation. This is for my students uh, na third year no? and actually fourth year, a regular fourth year no? na kung saan ay uh, they are taking this subject dun dapat for second sem pa to. Okay? So, let's start. Uh, bago ako magsimula, I am Engineer Raymond J. Severo uh, from Romblon State University. Okay? So, if you have uh, any questions or uh, suggestions with regards dun sa mga topics, uh, you can email me uh, dyan sa aking email dyan and you can also uh, message me to my Facebook uh, at Mon Severo. Okay? I have also page, no, kung sakali, uh, CE Tutorial, ano yan, Sir Seb, CE Tutorial, okay? So, let's proceed to introduction and orientation of syllabus content, okay? So, this will be the copy of our syllabus for this subject. I, I already uploaded it dun sa ating uh, Google Classroom, no? So, you can download it. And also, I will be sending, actually, uh, hindi ko siya pwedeng send sa, sa YouTube as description, no? kasi for property ng, ng school, okay? Pero, uh, para sa mga studyante ko na nagtitake ng uh, construction materials and testing, I already uploaded it dun sa ating uh, Google Classroom and also I, sub, I, I sent it dun sa ating uh, messenger group chat, no? So, you can download it and you, you can uh, comment na na-download nyo na and already uh, read what is the content of our syllabus no? para at least for accreditation purpose and also for uh, malaman ko na uh, updated kayo or informed kayo with regards to sa ating syllabus okay? so we have here this course information it is already uh, it is also included dun sa ating uh, syllabus no? pinili ko lang yung mga uh, nakalagay dun sa syllabus na kung saan ay importante so we have here this course information first is the course code we have here CE 328 for our subject and for the course title we have construction materials and testing for the course description the course deals with the physical properties of common construction materials primarily metals plastics woods uh, concrete uh, coarse and fine aggregates asphalt and synthetic materials examinations of materials properties with respect to the design and use of end product design and control aggregates concrete and asphalt mixtures, principle of testing, uh, characteristics of test, properties of materials, and materials testing equipment. Okay? So, yun po yung uh, under dun sa ating uh, subject. No? Yun yung mga pag-aaralan natin dito. For the prerequisite, we have here mechanics of deformable body. So, if you didn't pass the mechanics of deformable bodies, hindi mo makukuha yung construction materials and testing. Okay? So, yun. It is a uh, Kailangan din kasi yung prerequisite na mechanics of deformable bodies kasi pinag-uusapan doon yung mga shear, uh, yung mga mechanical properties of uh, materials like yung sa, sa ating mga beams no? na kung saan ay either ano yung mga shear na na-occur na based sa loads as well as yung mga uh, elongations na nangyayari sa mga steels uh, na pag nagdadaanan yun sa mechanics of deformable bodies. But when it comes to sa topic natin, sa subject natin which is construction materials and testing, uh, we will be talking about uh, experimenting or testing the materials that are usually used pagdating sa construction material sa pag, pagdating sa construction site no like yung uh, re RSB reinforced steel bar yung concrete mixture natin uh, yung mga hollow blocks no na kailangan ay uh, set standards no o kailangan siyang i-test uh, may mga uh, set standards din ang DPWH yung blue book natin with it comes to sa mga materials like yung sa mga paint kung ano yung sizes ng paints pagdating sa mga road signs mga bridge uh, bridge paint no? may mga sizes at may mga standards po na sinusunod dyan as well as yung mga uh, color coding no? may sinusundan po na tayo na standards bilang isang civil engineer no? na kung saan ay tayo mismo uh, nasa site no? okay so we have here uh, course grading system. So under course grading system, we have 40% class standing requirements and 30% online examination and 30% laboratory output. 
So since uh, pandemic at and at saka uh, we cannot conduct laboratory output, no? Kasi nga hindi naman pinapayagan na pa na magkaroon ng face-to-face class. So I guess yung 30% na laboratory output will be uh, converted into case study, no? Nang pagdating sa site. Okay? So siguro yung 40% which is class standing is yun nga attending the online class, partaking in the online discussion and uh, recitations, no? So dapat umaattend kayo ng aking klase sa Google Meet, no? Uh, actually hindi na ako mag Google Meet, no? Mag Google uh, ano na lang tayo mag YouTube Premiere, no? Para at least doon tayo naka-record yung video ko at the same time, uh, pwede natin panoorin nang sabay-sabay yon at pwede magkaroon ng interaction with regards din sa premiere no ng YouTube. Uh, pag may mga questions kayo uh, while while watching my video, nandoon din ako naka uh, naka no. So you can message me doon sa mismong chat box and I will be replying you no pag pagdating sa concerns niyo at sa tanong. For the 30% online examinations, I will be giving you uh, mga short quizzes and as well as yung mga major exams like midterm and finals. But it is also announced kasi nga syempre for the internet connectivity ng mga estudyante, minsan may mga estudyante na naghahanap pa ng signal. So walang mga surprise surprise quiz dito, no. So I will kumbaga at most leniency kailangan ibigay sa estudyante na makapag-adjust as well as sa amin din, no. So para tayo mag-adjust ngayong new normal, okay? So we have here the topic coverage. So under din siya nung ating uh, syllabus. So the arrangement of the topic is based on the CMO 92 uh, series 2017. So under siya sa CHED Memorandum Order uh, 92, series 92 no, ng 2017. Okay? So for the topic 1, uh, since uh, ang school natin is uh, nagkaroon ng bi-clustering, so we have two clusters under this uh, subject. So, so yung buong semester kasi hinati nila into three cl- cluster, cluster 1, cluster 2, and cluster 3. But my subjects ay pina, pin, kumaga, inano ko siya na cluster 2 and cluster 3. Dalawang cluster siya. So 10 weeks actually. So 10 weeks siyang discussion kasi uh, baka makaabot tayo malay nyo. Payagan tayo mag face to face class. So we could have our face to face laboratory. But uh, yun nga since dumadami yung variant at as well as yung ano baka hindi na natin asahan na magkaroon ng face to face pa. Pero syempre uh, for the utmost leniency nga at for uh, yung makapag-comply yung mga student sa mga requirements so ginawa ko siyang uh, two clusters no para at least kung hindi matapos yung cluster 1 uh, cluster 2 may cluster 3 pa tayo para for the extension ng ating subjects sa ating subject okay so we have here topic 1 week 1 so ang dami nating topic sa sa week 1 we have introduction and orientation of the BMGO and syllabus content for the Number two, uh, introduction and construction, introduction to construction materials and testing. Then number three is familiarization with apparatus and equipment used in testing of materials. For number four, we have here the familiarization with the parts and functions of the universal testing machines. Dong machines na ginagamit for testing of concrete and steel. Okay. For the topic two, which is week two. We have here general properties of materials, the specific weight, water absorption, abrasion density, and uniformity of aggregates. So, pag-aaralan natin yung mga yan, yung mga specific wa- weight, water absorption, and abrasion. So, we have also determination of setting time of hydraulic cement. Okay? So, lahat naman yan is uh, naka-ASTM. So, may mga standards na tayo sinusundan. At may mga procedures naman pag-test niyan. So, we have here topic number... 3 week 3 to 5 preparations and curing of uh, concrete test specimen yung topic 1 and 2 is uh, parang halos yan ay puro discussion yung topic 3 to at mga sumunod is usually ano siya uh, laboratory experiments talaga no pero yun nga uh, as much as possible magustuhin ko man pero hindi pwede na magkaroon ng uh, face to face uh, laboratory testing pero kung payagan gagrab natin yung opportunity di ba so first is preparation and curing of concrete test specimen so yan mismo yung gagawa na tayo ng uh, cylindrical molds no kumbaga tawag nila diyan is yung mohon na nilalagay sa mga 
boundaries ng ano pero actually hindi naman talaga yun yung mohon no actually ano yan uh, cylindrical na test samples okay we have also topic uh, number 4 under week 6 to 7 uh, kaya naka 2 weeks pala yung isang topic kasi nga ang preparations is uh, madali lang naman siya i-prepare yung yung sample na yung materials but the curing period is uh, it takes uh, 7 days, 14 days, and 28 days to test the specimen. Kaya nga, ginawa ko 2 weeks. No? Same din dito. We have here week 6 uh, and 7. So, testing of concrete and woods samples, bending compressive shear tension, and water content. So, dito, uh, yung test specimen na prepare natin for the topic 3, uh, which is uh, week 3 to 5. So, yun ay uh, itetest natin for dito nga for compressive shear tension and water content for determining uh, the time of setting of Portland cement determine the compressive strength of concrete hollow blocks so under din siya may discussion din po yan but syempre kailangan pa rin natin magtest nung, 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 nung hollow blocks i'll make sure na maka makahanap ako ng video with regards dun sa sa pagte-test ng mga mga ano para at least kahit paano hindi man tayo makapag-actual may makikita kayo mga videos na na nagkakaroon ng testing, no? kung paano siya pinaprepare and as well as kung paano siya tinetest. Okay, for topic, uh, last topic, uh, which is uh, week 8 and 10, testing of tensile strength of steel bars and field testing of con construction materials. Field testing of construction materials. Okay, so for the last topic, which is testing of uh, steel bars, so ganun pa rin siya, uh, we have to prepare sample of a uh, steel rebars for testing. Pero yun nga, uh, usually yung steel bars is uh, binibili naman siya. We should need to cut lang naman yung steel bars into sizes na uh, needed dun sa ano. No? May standard size ng pagkat ng steel bars for testing. Which is, uh, dun siya sa ASTM din. ASTM din siya uh, papasok. No? So, I will be sending also a copy of ASTM with regards dun sa mga topic na nandyan. Or within dun sa mismo description ng aking video. Okay, for the course policy, uh, Google Classroom and Messengers will be used in this course subjects. Uh, attendance will be monitored through feedback, com confirmations, and acknowledgements to the to any activities, announcements, and requirements to be posted. Okay, so yung uh, yung pag-comment ninyo na na napanood yun na yung video, na download yun yung mga materials for nababasahin. So yun ay isang confirmation na 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 umaten kayo ng aking klase. Okay. So, hindi man kayo makapag-attend uh, virtually online in real time kapag nagkaroon ng, ng Google Meet, at least may mga ibang ways pa naman kayo para ma masundan yung topic. No? Uh, then, online but not real time. So, quizzes, uh, exams will be given and scheduled ahead of time. So, may mga exams tayo pero online siya. Major exams are also given in the time prepared by the college. So, announced din po yung mga exams natin. Pero online pa rin siya. So, subjects and assignments must be submitted on scheduled deadline in all possible means. So, kapag nagbigay ako ng assignments, uh, mga plates and projects, yung mga projects na mga susulatin or susolve, or i-compute is uh, kailangan makasubmit kayo uh, within dun sa ating deadline. No? Pero, syempre, kung may mga instance na yung deadline ay nagkataon may mga bagyo, syempre, mag adjust din tayo. Okay? So, for, ano, ito na-upload na, na namin ito dun sa, at, sa, sa page ng ating uh, department. So, it is uh, just, ano lang naman ito, uh, maging uh, sound respectful kayo sa ating mga teachers at as well as sa ating mga kaklase. Kapag tayo ay nagkakaroon ng interaction with regards dun sa GC or either dun sa ating pagkocomment dun sa mga, mga videos or dun sa mga ano, na. So, Uh, as much as possible, huwag niyong gawa ng memes yung mga professors ninyo no? na nag, naghihirap na, na mag, makagawa ng mga videos huwag niyo nang gawa ng memes no? so as, as, as at saka isa pa uh, ini-encourage ko yung mga studyante na kung saan, kung halimbawa magkaroon ng Google Meet, scheduled Google Meet or Zoom Meeting ang inyong mga teachers please naman, dapat naman nakaligo na kayo or kumbaga bihis na bihis na kayo kumbaga, well, well groomed and saka uh, well presentable no hindi yung naka nakaunan pa kayo nasa higaan pa kayo aattend kayo ng Google Meet di ba 
So napaka yung mga faculty, yung mga teachers nyo ay nag-prepare ng ng Zoom meeting na kumbaga well dressed sila na uniform pa tapos kayo hindi man lang kayo mag hindi man lang kayo mag-effort no. Eh minsan lalo na kung ang, ang subject niyo ay napakaaga, di ba? So for ano na lang din respect sa mga faculty, you should uh take into consideration din yung magiging feelings nila na kung saan haliwa nakita kayo nagkaklase habang habang nagkaklase nakikita kayo nakasando lang di ba or naka nasa higaan pa minsan kumakain pa kayo di ba so make sure naman na well presentable kayo kapag nagkakaroon ng uh, meeting no na kumpara na na experience ko na kasi yan yung mga ganyan pero hinahayaan ko lang kasi medyo uh, ano naman ako kumbaga ay konsentidor naman ako no pero syempre pagdating sa ibang faculty na na kung saan ay ano sa sana ay mag-adjust din kayo okay next tayo so we have this reference books to be used in our discussion or in our subjects so we have DPWH blue book mga basic construction materials and uh, civil engineering materials mga testing construction materials and testings and uh, nandiyan na din ko sino yung mga author uh, Actually, you can download some of that uh, reference no, sa internet. Pero yung iba kasi may bayad. No? Pero yung copy ng blue book, I can send you a copy of blue book of the DPWH no? kung wala kayong kopya. Okay? So, I guess this will be the last of my presentations. So, I do hope that uh, you learn or kung na orient kayo with regards dun sa ating uh, discussion pagdating sa uh, materials uh, construction materials and testing na subjects and I do hope na nag-iingat tayo pareho kasi nga uh, nandyan pa rin yung banta ng pandemya at ng COVID-19 so let's make ourselves uh, uh, safe and healthy no? Kumbaga. so yun for my next video I will be discussing uh, yung mismo content na ng ating uh, subject no? so yun nga kung late kayong pumasok please subscribe and please click the notification button And pakilike na lang din yung aking video.